Good, happy Monday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, couples can start next chapter for free at a popular Boston wedding venue. One of Boston's most thought-after wedding venues is giving couples the opportunity to begin the next chapter of their lives for free. The Boston Public Library is giving six couples the opportunity to host their wedding ceremony in the Central Library in Copley Square's iconic outdoor courtyard in June. Each of the selected couples will be invited to the library on the morning of June 11th to exchange vows while the building is closed to the public. Details such as music, banquets, and a photography session will be coordinated for the winning couples. An online lottery is available on the Boston Public Library's website until March 12th, and six couples will be notified no later than March 13th. So if you want to get married at the Boston Public Library in their courtyard, then log on and try a win. Starter shooting ruled homicide investigators considered possible of possibility of self-defense. Authorities are investigating whether the shooting death of a started man last week was self-defense, officials said Monday. Michael Kearney, 44, died of two gunshot wounds, the Attorney General's office said. He was found dead Thursday in a home on Moose Brook Drive after state police responded to a 911 call. Officials said a woman and young child were also in the home at the time and were uninjured. Carney's death was ruled a homicide, but officials said the shooting is still under investigation. They said they are investigating whether the person who shot Cardney acted in self-defense. Officials said last week that they did not believe the general public was in danger. We will keep you updated on this story as more stuff develops. Apple shares close at all-time high. Shares of Apple's stocks closed at an all-time high Monday, riding a post-earning rally and more favorable outlook on Wall Street. Taruz says it's not his job to lecture Trump on Syrian refugees. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News. Half Maple Street. It's half a house. And even though it only has half a kitchen, half the closet space, and a half bath, it's a full house to the Wilsons. Because they have Fios, their half house has full internet with uploads as fast as downloads. Don't pay for uploads that aren't up to speed. Get 150 meg internet with equal uploads and downloads, TV and phone for only $79.99 per month online for one year. Only from Fios. Canada and the United States have been neighbors a long time, and Canadians and Americans have stood together, worked together uh, at home and around the world. Um, we fought and died together in battlefields in World War I and World War II, in Korea, in Afghanistan. Um, but there have been times uh, where we have differed in our approaches, uh, and that's always been done firmly and respectfully. The last thing Canadians expect uh, is 
uh, for me to come down and uh, lecture another country on how they choose to govern themselves. My role and our responsibility is to uh, continue to uh, govern in such a way that uh, reflects Canadians' approach and uh, be a positive example in the world. Okay, and there you go on that report. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.